Welcome to the Alchemistic Laboratory. In this tutorial, we are going to make this helmet. This is from the anime Bubblegum Crisis. This is the helmet from Pris. I think this is a really cool exercise to make in plasticity. There are some complications that we are going to try to solve. And, and once in Blender, when we put the materials and everything, it should look something like this. So I hope you like this tutorial. And now let's jump right into it. Okay, first things first. We come to the cube, delete it go to the front view and now we need to drag and drop our reference image. This was the best reference I could find on the internet from the side view. Unfortunately, I couldn't find on the front side, but I think this is quite a good exercise so that we can also start making things only from one perspective. So for this, I'm going to graph the image. I'm going to make the material front. The opacity, I'm going to lower it quite low, like for example, 20% around and front only. Now, this reference image, what I would like to do is to be sure that the opest part of the egg is in the center and the thickest part of the helmet is also on the horizon. So for this, I need to, if you see, here should be the thickest extreme, but the center of the helmet is not on the horizon. So for this, I want to rotate it because I think this should be easier for us to model. So now this image, I will leave it like this. And the center is around as well, the highest point. Okay, so now it should be something like this. First, I need to analyze what shape is, what is the main shape of the helmet? So it looks like it's basically an egg with a mouth card. So we can start from there. I suggest we draw a sphere. Is this the closest shape I could find from for an egg? And we draw something like this. So how do we convert? I need to move the image, of course. So how do we convert this sphere to an egg shape? So one way to do it should would be to draw a line in the center. Now, it is a bit, a bit complicated to see the object. So maybe if I turn another material, for example, the white one, should be a bit easier. One way to convert the, sh the sphere into an egg would be to cut it in half. And one half, for example, the left half, is going to be the, the pointest. So I'm going to scale it, press V, and put it in the middle, and just scale it on the X axis. Something like this. So we need to do the same thing, but only a bit for the back side. So I'm going to scale it, V, pre put it in the middle, and just scale it slightly. So there we have our egg. Now these two pieces, we could also boolean them, so Q and Q. So we have our main egg, or egg. And now we can start cutting this visor. So how do we do this? We can start, for example, drawing some lines. So I'm going to draw a line from here to here and here. And we can start drawing some control point curves to make a slight curvature here. We can draw a, a line from here to here to this part, somewhere where it should be intersecting the mouth guard to here. Okay, and now from here, I can just cut straight down. So I'm going to grab these lines join them and I'm going to press C to cut and this this part I could delete it but we could maybe use this as our visor so I'm going to grab this part and actually renaming that rename it as maybe visor and I'm going to hide it with the bubble with the light bulb this means that whenever we unhide things it should stay hidden okay so what else can we do I think we can start drawing the mouth card. So for this, we can draw a control point curve and based on the reference, the mouth card should start where this part is finished. So I'm going to draw it somewhere here. And maybe something like this. Something like this. So now I need to draw the mouth card is connecting to the edge of the of the of this point. So 
if we want to do this, I need to draw a line that starts from where it's connecting. So for example, here, I'm going to leave a bit of space here because I think maybe later should be easier for us when we connect the jaw to the, to the helmet. So I'm going to draw the line from below a bit here because it is snapping on the point that we want and I'm just connecting the other point to the mouth guard. So now we have a straight line, should look something like this. And now I would like to subdivide it two times so that I can start manipulate the curvature from below. So for this, we press shift S one time and two times. So we can graph this point, something like this. But remember, it's important because we are going to mirror it that we make it horizontal. So we grab the X axis and snap it with control to the beginning of the mouth card. And now we do the same thing for this part. So now we have horizontal, horizontal, but we also need to do this from this view. I'm going to grab this point, make it horizontal from here. And this I suppose we can leave. And now we do the same from this side. So we draw a control point curve and we draw and snap it somewhere here. Now we just need to move this point from the, from the side view. And here we need to start to invent sometimes. So this part of the helmet is the jawline. So as you see, the jawline comes from this point and starts to go inside. So we need to do the same thing here. This is the jaw. It should come down and start coming inside. So we can draw the point around here. And we just need to move this point somewhere around here, horizontal. But I need more information here. So for this, I need to subdivide it again and make it horizontal here. And this curvature may be relatively proportional to this area. And we need to be as well careful that this line is also flat. I think it's already flat. Just let's be sure. Okay, so you should have this sort of shape. So I think it's correct, but maybe let's put this a bit more inside. Okay, so now let's let's try to see if it works. This line and this line, I can maybe delete them. So we only have this and this. I'm going to press loft and I'm going to shift click on this side of the mouth guard to have the shape of the tip of the mouth. So you should have some shape like this. And let's see if it works. So what I'm going to test now is I'm going to mirror it on the Y axis, join them, isolate them and see if there is a problem here. It seems to be quite correct. So and it's snapping just where we want it. Okay, this seems correct. And also the jawline seems relatively okay. If you're not happy with it, you just delete it and make the lines more inside or more curved or however you seem fit. But let's try to see if it works here. So now I'm going to try to make the shape of the back of the head. So one way to do it would be to graph a line and snap it from this point go straight back. I'm going to delete this area of the egg and we have the shape. So now what I need to do is draw the back side of the neck because we already have this line and it's very similar to what we need. I think I would use this and mirror it on the x-axis and I'm going to Move it somewhere here. F to make a free form or free point. I'm going to put from the end to the other end of the curve, something like this. And we just need to make this horizontal. So I'm going to snap these points like this. It's perfectly horizontal. And here I'm going to grab these last two points and make it inside. 
and we just need to make this a bit more rounder something like this so like a mini egg curve and remember it needs to be horizontal from here and vertical here because we're also going to mirror this part so we mirror this line join these two so now we start to have the shape we need we just need to draw or loft from here to here this line i think we can delete and let's see if it works so i'm going to draw i'm going to grab this curve this curve loft it and here there is an opening if we press shift it's not going to work unless we put g0 so now we have this face and the, the so now we have the main shape of the helmet as you see so we need to make the thickness of the helmet i think the easiest way would be to grab the face of the egg shape so only these two faces press shift d to convert this to a face sheet and we can hide this solid so we can put this egg shape just in case we need it and we hide it with the light bulb so as you see we only have the shell of the shapes and from here it's very relatively simple we can just grab these pieces join them and make a thicken or we can just thicken each individual part or we could also grab everything join it scale it down and loft the caps so for example let's let's do that i'm going to join everything so there is only one face and we could for example just duplicate it shift t scale it similar to the video of of mega man and magneto i also think and now we just need to be sure how thick we want this shape so i would say it's something like this something that would withstand some some rough treatment and we just accommodate the pieces probably around here these curves we can actually hide and what we need to do is just basically grab all the curves and all the curves from e the other shape like this and we can just press l to loft in g0 there we go we do the same for the lowest part so we grab all the curves and all the curves and loft in g0 and we grab all the faces and join them and now it should be a solid so now we are in good good steps so as you see we have the shape of the helmet it looks quite good i think very similar to our reference image you can make the same curvature here it's just that i don't like it so much it somehow makes a bit wobbly this part and it doesn't look so strong and i think like this it I, I like it more so um, what else can we do i think now it's the part to make these wings or the ears the ear wings so how could we do this and the complication of this exercise is also that it should also connect to the mouth guard so this part should have the same curvature somehow there are many ways we could draw this it would take a bit of time and and calculate it with this curvature but something we could try is we have already these curves so if we use this to make another shape to have the base of the ear would be also working so let's see how it works um so we graph in this case we graph this line because this seems to be a bit lower we can also make it a bit so we can graph this line and this line loft it shift click here to have exactly the same face the same curvature or the same shape and now i'm going to hide everything else go to the front view and check with the reference image until where it should arrive so what i'm going to do is to extend this face maybe not so much up and extend it to the right and you see the shape that i'm going to get something like this now i don't know how open this should be so let's see with the 
with the helmet. Seems to be quite straight. So, what we can do is just try it again. We want the line to go a bit outside, not precisely straight behind. So for this we can grab this last point and this last point too. Move it a bit out. So. And I hope that this is following the curvature there. I grab this curve, this curve, L to loft. Click here, shift. And I'm going to hide everything, but only keep the reference. Grab these two edges, extend them and extend it to the right. So I think it looks better. Probably it will work. So what I need to do is just to create and draw the curvature or the outline of this part. So I'm going to press Shift A to draw a line. And the line should be somewhere here, here, maybe here and here to here, here. You can draw this better at home, maybe even with some control point curves and close it. So we have the basic shape of this. I'm going to imprint it and this I can maybe hide. Now this face is the only thing I need. So what I can do is press a thicken to separate it from the face and to make it a solid at the same time. So now I have it. I can delete this shape sheet. And there we have our wing. We can unhide everything else. This I hide maybe with the bolt too. And these curves maybe we can also hide them. Okay, so now you see that I have my wing and it goes quite outside. Maybe in the angle that I actually like, not too much, not too short. So it's, I think it's good. So what we can do now is to start making this roundness around this part and later a chamfer. So I'm going to grab this and this and make it round. Do it with much more love at home. I'm going to maybe speed this up. So, now these parts are rounded. When you round something and then later you want to chamfer it, because it is round and not just a fillet, it will continue around everything else. We just need to round it here, but before we round it, if you look closely, I think this object is like getting a, a, a stronger curvature to the mouth card. So for this, I would probably grab this edge and make a fillet and try to make it something like this. So something like this, as you see, it's coming stronger to inside to the mouth card. I'm going to accept this. And I think now we can make the chamfer. So I'm going to grab this and maybe, maybe three, three seems, three seems okay. So let's do this for the moment. Okay. Maybe we can try to make it also here, maybe four. Yeah. Choose the numbers you like. I just use these ones. Okay. Well, I'm checking that here is a bit separated from the helmet. So what I can do is just move it a bit inside and there we have it. Now we have our super cool wings. So now I suggest we start to make these um, details, the details we need. So for example, I'm going to press line to cut this object and also here a control point curve to cut around this part. Something like this and something so here and here. Press C to cut, and there we have it. So we have these three pieces. And now we can start separating this with some chamfers. Yeah, I would say this is okay. And we do the same here. And so now we have this part. Ah, but be careful because here we, I suggest we first cut this part inside. So I'm going to draw a circle somewhere here in the center. Now I'm going to orient it to this line, to this direction of the lines. Somehow, it doesn't need to be perfect, but somehow. 
because I did this, now the tangents would be much better to draw in the direction I want. Now I can trim this line, then I can grab this, imprint them, put this one inside, something like this. Great. And now we can make the chamfers. So I'm going to grab these lines and chamfer this like this. And what else? Uh, we need to draw another curve. We print it, somehow it looks in the center, push it inside. This we can make a chamfer or a fillet, something like this, and this as well. So we have this piece. Now we can draw maybe some lines here, imprint it, this one, this one we can press inside. So we have this piece. Now what else we need to do? There seems to be this box. I'm going to draw some lines only. And so I'm going to print it. This I'm going to offset, mm -hmm. something like this. We could also draw some lines here and make some details. Ah, for example, we can draw this one and this one here. Imprint it. Maybe push these things back like this. Yeah, this I think I like. And we seems to have we seem to have our cool wing part. If you want to be that this looks cool, you can add much more details. This will add a lot of personality to your object. And in the end, it will look much better. So these curves we can delete. We don't need them. And you see, we start to have a lot of cool details. So we can start drawing these details here in the helmet. So I draw some lines there. And now I need to make this to here and try to do it a bit fast so that this tutorial is not too long. And I'm going to draw a curve here. Now I'm joining all the lines and grabbing these two lines and I'm going to imprint them. So I have this thing and these faces I can push them inside. So maybe it's a bit too much. So something like this. And uh, here we need to make a cut, I suggest. So we can draw something like this. Okay. Cut the helmet in two pieces. Perfect. And we can just continue like this. If you like this tutorial, please like, share and subscribe. This helps me a lot, motivates me. Thank you very much. And remember, there is a tutorial I'm selling on Comro. The link is down in the description below. So you can check it and support this channel. All the help you can give me is very well appreciated. Thank you very much. Uh, the tutorial is about making some Mega Man models. We start with the basic modeling and all the way up to a bit more complex and advanced tools that we need to use in order to make these models. Go, to the, go down in the description and check it out. So let's continue with this helmet. I'm going to grab these lines and make the separation. So we have this part, I think it's okay. Maybe we can ac accentuate it even more. So we need to do the same here. So I'm going to graph these lines and see how it looks. Now the helmet, I think the helmet is, is finished. So let's add some more details and then we finish the tutorial. Okay, so now we are going to draw imprint them. Mm -hmm. Where else can we put some details? Um, maybe here, some circles. Um, try to make your own details. I'm sure you will come with much better ideas. I think it's quite okay. So I think we finished the helmet. We just need to mirror it. So I'm going to cut this part, delete it, and I'm going to cut 
the other part and I'm going to mirror it and we can boolean them. Now let's grab everything, redundant topology, delete and let's mirror the ear part and, and I think it looks quite cool. Let's delete these curves. And I think our model is finished. It looks very, very cool. Okay, now in Blender, this is how our model is looking. So now let's make some materials and see how it looks with some renders. Okay, the render is almost finished and I'm quite happy with the result. The materials look really nice. With these colors, I am quite happy. If you like this tutorial, like, share and subscribe. I appreciate this a lot. And remember, there is also the course that I'm selling on Gombro. You can find it in the link in the description down below. This helps me to bring much more tutorials to you like this one. So thank you everybody for your support. This community is growing. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now the render is finally finished and we can say Exluto ad Aurum. Until next time. Thank you.